Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Greg Furman, market analyst here at TraderPlanet.com and these are the market positions for April the 6th, 2010. Now getting started right away, I hope everybody had a good Easter holiday. We're going to get started with the S&P E-mini 500 is going to be our first trade for tomorrow. We're, we've had a busy day here, the first day back, however, still holiday thin markets. So we can see the S&P 500 has closed at 11.83. We've moved aggressively higher. Uh, if everybody remembers, I've only been putting out buy positions on the S&P 500 uh, NE Mini for several months now, suggesting that 11.52 area, based on the Vantage Point software, would give way, and we would move towards that 1,200 mark. That is still my position. I think we're still heading in that direction very clearly. So let's identify our key levels of pivot support, 11.59.85. 11.70.11 and 11.75.93. 11.75.93 will be our target area for tomorrow. What we can see from the Vantage Point software here is that we've got a crossover on or about February the 18th. This leading indicator was the three-day predicted moving average crossing over the eight-day and the 18-day. Uh, that produced a move from the 10.90 area all the way to where we are now in this 11.80 mark. That's about a 100-point move over essentially about a six-week period. Very, very good call on Vantage Point. Uh, I've had numerous positions, long positions on the E-mini 500 and on the main futures contract. So everything's been going quite well there. Now we want to continue with this. So what we're going to do here for tomorrow, we've identified our key levels of pivot support. We're now going to fine-tune that that entry point. 11.75.93 is already tagged as a point of interest to us. 11.793, of course, the vantage point predicted three-day moving average. So we can see here 11.76.15 is the low, 11.8703 is the high. So that low coincides with the vantage point first level of pivot support at that 11.75. So we're going to use this 11.76 <clears throat> excuse me, as our entry point for tomorrow, and we're going to be looking for about a 10 to 11 full point move on the S&P 500. We can see the neural index is positive here. We're not quite in overbought territory, but I do think we're getting close. So with that said, we're just going to run back here and throw a couple of other key vantage point indicators on here to see how things are looking. Now, what I'm going to do, the first indicator I'm going to put on will be the vantage point predicted true strength indicator. Very interesting indicator here. We can see that it's crossed over slightly to the downside, and we are in heavily overbought territory. So it's always good to check this when we're in a strong move like this because the potential for a cor correction uh, can be quite strong. So with that said, we're going to also put on the predicted MACD here from Vantage Point. Go in and have a look at that. The predicted MACD is also crossed over the downside, is moving lower. However, we are above. Key thing here is we are above the zero line. Now, adding one more indicator, we're going to add the predicted RSI from Vantage Point to get a good indication of what's happening here. We can see, even though we've hit the over, but we've been in overbought territory. Just to, just so everybody can see this, the better part of this move up when I when I talked about that Vantage Point crossover taking place back on or about February the 18th, we can see since February the 26th we've been in overbought territory. This is why we can't use just an overbought or overbought overbought or oversold signal to enter a trade. Very important to realize that uh, because we can see what's happening, that the markets actually come down, hit the 70 level of the predicted RSI from vantage point, and then bounced higher. So very, very interesting that it would do that, and we can see that the move continues to move higher. So basically, the S&P 500 was trading down around that 1100 mark when we were in overbought territory. However, has moved up a full 80 plus points since that time. So it's it's very important again that we use multiple indicators from the from uh, the Vantage Point software to make sure that we've got a clear understanding of what's going on. Uh, and again, it's it's very a very very important thing to do. So that is our first position. Now our second position for tomorrow, we're going to switch into the commodity markets, specifically natural gas futures, futures contracts. Now looking at the natural gas contracts here from Vantage Point, we've had this crossover to the downside that's taken place uh, on or about January the 22nd, 2010. We've got this move from uh, the 560, 580 area all the way down to this 380. That was a very uh, vicious move, but accurately called, I might point out, by Vantage Point. Now a leading indicator here 
that uh, I'd like to draw everybody's attention to is the three-day crossing over the eight-day predicted moving average. Now, in it, now, Vantage Point does have a number of numerous other indicators crossovers, meaning the, the short, the medium, and the long-term crossovers, and that's when they use the Vantage Point predicted moving average crossing over a simple moving average. Now, I will run through that, but the reason I like the predicted moving average crossover is because usually when uh, the short term crosses over a medium term uh, predicted moving average, it's a, it's a fairly significant event. So what we can see here is the three day has crossed over the eight day, only the predicted moving averages. So we're going to be looking to buy natural gas contracts on a dip. We can identify here our pivot support now is four. 419, 407, and 415 with a close of 427. We can see this right here. Now, uh, 419 will be 419, 407, 415 will all be key areas tomorrow. Now, we're going to go in, have a look at that daily report from Vantage Point, and fine tune that entry point. Again, we're looking, I'm going to go back and review the short, the medium, and the long term crossovers, but first we're going to look at this daily report. We've got 420 for the low, 445 for the high with a close of 427. I think we're going to get a little deeper than 420. Again, the predicted moving average, uh, or excuse me, the predicted high and the predicted low of the day gives an overall, uh, a, a fairly accurate, uh, you know, outline of what the, the possible range is going to be for tomorrow. So 420 does look good. I think we're going to use 418, 415 area. I believe it's going to pull back a little bit more than that, but we are getting ready for a strong move in my opinion. Now our upside target for tomorrow is going to be the vantage point predicted high of the day at the 445 level. Now going into this, we're going to run back here, have a look at these uh, predicted moving averages, look at our crossovers. We're now going to go into the short, the medium, and the long-term crossover to see what's happening there. Now, looking at the short-term crossover from Vantage Point, we can see that this crossover took place here at the end of last week. Very interesting. Now, we're going to go into the medium-term crossover here. Again, we're trying to catch this move early. So I'm going to hit and apply the medium-term crossover. We can see that that has taken place also just above this $4 mark. Now, the long-term crossover may not be in complete agreement yet, but we're hoping that it's going to be. So it's not just yet, but we've got our short and our medium term outlook based on these crossovers suggest that the natural gas futures contracts are going to move higher. Now, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to again add this predicted TSI from Vantage Point. This is a, an indicator that can only be found on the Vantage Point software. Very useful tool to give us, uh, again, our directional indicator. So we can see here, this is exactly what we're looking for. We've got heavily oversold territory actually bottoming out at the minus 60 level. We've got the vantage point TSI crossing over that trigger to the upside.